Well, we're on our game tonight. Tonight, only on Fox. No medications, no anesthesia, and almost no downtime. Yeah, a new surgical procedure is getting very popular very quickly. All you need is a lunch break and a little cold air. Saber Gurch has the story. It's rugged terrain that you'd like to think is scratching the surface of some planet sitting in our solar system, but it's not. Boulders, potholes, and pores of imperfection. It is where sun, wind, and time tell their story. Your skin, your face, your problem. As I'm getting a little bit older now, I've got more fine lines and wrinkles and skin discoloration. Beyond the airbrushed perfection that Coats magazine covers, this is the reality that many deal with. With fair complexion, if you have any, like, you know, irritations in the skin, they become redder immediately. Now it's time for skin patients to chill out. When we do it, we actually blow a very, very cold air on the skin so you don't feel it while it's being done. Don't move now. Ooh. And that's it, and that's what it feels like. It's kind of zapped. Zapped, the not-so-technical term for a new laser treatment. It is actually called the Arctic Peel. Arctic, because the cold air balances out the heat of the light laser. It basically works as an anesthetic. Dr. Lee Laris at Phoenix Skin. It's one of only five places in Arizona offering the Arctic Peel. What we've seen in our practice in the last six months has, has been wonderful and actually phenomenal results. Here's the deal. This procedure is kind of custom made for each patient. Using an erbium laser, doctors are able to take off fractions of millimeters of skin. It paints the skin more precisely and evenly than other lasers. It's so specific. We can, by the micron, we can take off more and more and more depending on what we're trying to do. A layer of skin is like this notepad. Each sheet is a micron. When sun, age, and imperfection scribble on the surface, the Arctic Peel polishes that scribble away, shaving off the imperfections micron by micron, leaving you with smooth, tight skin and a little sunburn. It's giving us a pretty nice result. The Arctic Peel, it's the middle That's ground 20. between microdermabrasion and intense laser treatments. Right. Dr. Laris claims it is five times stronger than microdermabrasion, and unlike most lasers, this technique will not put you into hiding for weeks of recovery. There is no scarring, scabbing, and virtually no downtime. This is, I think, the best of both worlds. It lets us peel enough away that you're getting a result, uh, but it's not peeling so much that you have to hide out for 10 days. I'm wondering what it's going to feel like. Steph, we're going to go pretty quick here. Not even 15 minutes later. It just feels um, a little tight right now. It stings a little bit. Brandon Gresham uh, used to suffer from splotch. Two hours later, I could already see the results, and I was already actually like thinking about when could I get my next one done. Five months later. I remembered it was there, but I mean, I didn't remember it was that apparent. Here's his before and after. And look at the difference on this patient. Some call it the lunchtime laser. It takes just a couple of minutes to do, a couple of days to peel off. That's been the incredible appeal about this. Leaving your skin fit for the microscope. Sabra Gurge, Fox 10 News.